guys welcome to taste to explore my name is Darlene and today my friends I am going to be showing you how to make a Cuban style black bean stew delicious guys this has full of flavors spices herbs oh my god your kitchen is gonna smell delicious your whole house is gonna smell so good and I am using um, homemade beans that I have done already in advance because I didn't want to make this video too long so I'm gonna be using some homemade beans but you can certainly use canned beans but if you really want to see a quicker method on making it with the canned beans not a problem leave me a comment below and I will love to show you how to make it but right, right now my friends we're gonna just step right into this and it is absolutely amazing so stick around all right guys and let's begin right here i have my homemade sofrito which i'll leave you in the link in the description below right here i have some sazon to taste and a half a teaspoon of cumin i have some ham seasoning mix it's gonna go perfect it's gonna boost up the flavor of our ham i have some chopped up ham about one pound so you're gonna want to do that i have here one tablespoon of tomato paste I have some olive oil I have right here is two cups of black beans that I have freshly made from scratch with the reserve two cups of its liquid broth and right here I have an array of things one going third on. cup I have of yellow onions one third cup of Italian green pepper I have here two tablespoons of fresh garlic I have two small bay leaves I have here two teaspoons of fresh thyme and then I have a couple of spritz of cilantro and that is all you're gonna need all right my friends let's started. get this started right now I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil right in the bottom we're gonna saute some sofrito I'm putting here for a few seconds, not much. I'm going to need a little bit more extra virgin olive oil, as you can see. Another teaspoon. I'm sorry, another tablespoon. And now we're going to put in the onions. Peppers. This comes together really quick. Look at that. It is phenomenal, guys. It smells so good. So right now, I'm just waiting for this to soften up slightly. Maybe another 15 to 30 seconds. And then, all right, guys. That's it. Now I'm going to put the ham. And they are in large chunks. You could cut them down if you want, or you could leave them out. It's totally up to you. I just left that in there. And I'm just gonna let this cook down for a slight bit. This is gonna give us so much flavor. All right, for, I'm gonna leave this like this for 15 seconds more. And then that's it. I'm going to put in the bean broth that I reserved for this. Perfect. Then I'm going to put in the beans that I cooked earlier. And the beans take about an hour to cook, about an hour and a half to cook. So when you're doing fresh beans from scratch, you want to give yourself some time do it early or do it night before and then you can have it ready just right before dinner time so right now i'm going to put in the rest of my ingredients the rest of the herbs just throw it right in there phenomenal it smells so good right now you would not believe put that dog on the cumin perfect things through the ham is going to give it great flavor all the herbs 
and spices is going to really boost up. I'm going to put in my ham, my ham seasoning. Give it a final mix. It's got stuck in here. Make sure everything is out. And lastly, my tomato paste. Now, my beans are cooked. This don't need to take but too long. But I would say a good 20 minutes take more. It's thick. It's nice and combine and I'll see you right back okay guys it's time to check my beans and I put aluminum foil with a cover on it and let's take a look right now wow look at that it smells absolutely divine the ham pieces had um, shrink down and it smells so 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 good and it had thickened up wonderfully and this is done my friends it took about 25 minutes with the cover on and this is done it is perfect to have over white rice and that's it super quick super simple super easy to do now let's do a taste test. all right guys now let's do a taste test right here I got my beans Smells so good and it's very so hot. Please be careful when you eat yours. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That broth has so much, so much flavor. This is going to accompany your white rice. Mm like no tomorrow perfect and even better if you do this like a big batch put it in the refrigerator and eat it for the next day oh my god the flavors are going to intensify even more thank you so much my friends for joining me today in my kitchen making this awesome easy recipe you know it's always a pleasure of having you cook along with me so make this i'm sure you're gonna love it you can change it up in a million ways because every household makes it different now if you want more of the authentic version please let me know or if you want to know how to do the more quicker approach please let me know as well it is really simple to make and even if you use the dry beans you make it from scratch just do it two hours before do it the night before however it is easy and the taste is so much better so thank you once again and I will see you again if you want to see other Cuban style recipes just leave me a comment below I would love to next time my friends you. I will see you take care bye bye